Over the past several years, I've put in some extra effort to make my workstation right here a little bit more ergonomically friendly. I've been a software developer professionally for over 10 years now, and if I want to continue doing that in the future, I really need to take care of my body here and now. Over that time, I've made adjustments to my chair, to my desk, to my keyboard, but the one thing that really never changed was my lighting situation. Largely up until just a couple of months ago, I relied on my inbuilt room lights, which are in the ceiling and about a foot to a foot and a half behind my head when sitting at the desk. Naturally, this is non-ideal, as it casts shadows all over my workstation. So a couple of months ago, I finally decided, you know, I need to look into this and do a better job. Hey there, I'm Kelly. I'm a father of six, I'm a full-time software developer at Rescue Time, I'm Dean of the Digital Campus at Sigma University, and on this channel I like to talk about productivity and tips and tricks to help you get more done in less time, freeing you up to spend time with your loved ones and on the things you enjoy doing. As I said, today I'm talking about the ergonomics of lighting and the changes that I made over the past couple of months which have made a huge difference in making this workstation more enjoyable. I have the giant aperture light dome and anytime I record myself, I turn that on and I notice that, hey, this is more enjoyable sitting here when I don't have shadows played all across my desk. But even though that was enjoyable, I didn't want to leave that massive light on all the time. So I decided to start with a cheap pair of LED bar lamps from Walmart. I placed one on each side of the desk and it really did improve the lighting on my desk and therefore the enjoyability of sitting and working at the desk. While these did work fine, there were a couple of minor irritants with them. First and foremost, there were two of them. That meant anytime I wanted to turn on, I had to turn each of them on individually. And also they just took up a bunch of desk space. And I like my desk pretty clear and, you know, open free for me to put all sorts of fun stuff on it, not lamps. After using them for a couple of months, I decided that, yeah, I need a more permanent solution. And the time came up where we need to buy some bedside lamps for other purposes, so I repurposed those Walmart lamps into the bedrooms and decided to get something more dedicated for my desk. Me being indecisive, I couldn't really decide what I wanted, so I ended up purchasing two dedicated desk lamps, which you can see up here. I've been jumping back and forth between each one of these over the past couple of days, and they both work fantastic. Way better than any solution I've come up with so far, but I do have a clear favorite of the two. I have links to both of these down in the description below, largely because I can't remember what either of these are called. They're just kind of no-name brand equipment. The first of them that came up is really neat. And that's this one here. It works fantastic, has nice clicky buttons on the top, and as you can see, eliminates all the shadows on my desk. Both of them can iterate through five or six various levels of brightness as well as color temperature, which is pretty cool so you can adjust it to your own preferences and your own lighting situation that you've got going in your room. This one's really neat because the bendy arm that's on is about six inches longer than the other one, meaning you can kind of drape it further over your desk, over the top of the monitor, giving you a little bit extra more play, and I just think it looks much nicer than being so close to the top of the monitor. Each of the halves of the light bar can actually move out, so you can position them exactly as you want here, in kind of this V-shaped formation if you want, or tilt them back and forth however you would like. There are two main flaws with this one though, and that is that this head here is a bit unsteady, and can actually pop off with just a little bit of pressure. The other is that there is no backward shade slash reflector on the front of these bars, meaning that when I'm looking directly ahead, I can actually see the light bar there, and it's just a little bright and a little bit irritating. Let's look at the other one of these. This second one is the one that I vastly prefer. It is all one piece and feels much more rigid. My one complaint that I have about it is that it is shorter than the other one, meaning I can't bring it as far forward on top of my desk as I would prefer but it has a couple of cool features. It doesn't have any nice tactile buttons, instead they are just simple touch buttons, allowing you to turn them on or off, and then of course adjust the brightness and the temperature setting as well. This one also has a built-in timer allowing you to, you know, turn it off after half an hour of use or whatever. I haven't played around with that, I don't really see a purpose to it, especially because in addition to those touch buttons, this has a uh, shadow wave detector or something like that, I mean, I can just, float my hand across it and it will turn it off or turn it on, which means that this is much easier to turn on and off than the other one. And yes, I know it's not a big deal, the other one has nice buttons, but it is really cool and I find it much more convenient than just kind of bumping into the light. The other cool thing about this is it does have a front reflector on it, meaning that when I'm looking forward at my monitor, I don't see the light bar itself. Once again, this was just a minor irritant of the other one, but it is something that I think would continue to annoy me over time. 
For the price of about 50 bucks each, I do think that either one of these would be a great fit for any desk if you're sitting and working at it for a prolonged period of time and you deal with shadows, as I did before. While I have a clear preference of the two, I do think either of them are a good choice. And instead of sending the first one back, I'm going to be mounting it right behind our piano, which is in a similar situation in another room, and there's lots of shadow on it, and I think this will make a much more enjoyable playing experience for our children. I really hope this was helpful to you. This is actually a last minute video. I'm flying to New York City tomorrow morning to meet up with a friend where we are going to hang out and watch Dub Dub DC sessions together next week. And so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, do please stick around because that video is going to be coming up on this channel shortly if it hasn't already. See you later. Bye.